Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Days with Darlene. Today we are doing a Q&A, me and my husband Walter. But before we go ahead and start with the Q&A, I did want to thank all of you guys because we did reach our goal of 100 plus subscribers. So it's been a couple of months. We're really enjoying it. We're having a blast. We're definitely gonna keep the videos coming for you. I just wanna say thank you to all of you guys for helping me get there, but also thank you to my husband who has worked really hard editing my videos and just making all of this possible because I do not know how to do it. <laughs> okay guys, so as promised, there is a giveaway, but you have to wait till the end of this video to find out what the giveaway is and also how to enter into the giveaway. So stay tuned, but let's go ahead and start with the Q&A questions. We actually went ahead and asked you guys on my Instagram for questions. So we received a really good amount of questions. We're gonna get through as many as we can. Um, but if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you do, I'll link it right here for you guys. That way you can be a part of future Q and A's and also just, I love to get your feedback on future YouTube ideas and things like that. So. Ready? Cool. All right. You want me to ask the first question? Yeah, you go ahead. <clears throat> okay. First question. How old are you guys? Yeah, let me get comfortable. Uh, well, actually, people... yeah, we haven't we haven't talked about it on our channel. Yeah. Or, yeah actually, right. yeah, we did. If you didn't watch our our V vlog when it was oh, the birthday, most recent video. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, that's true. So people know my age. I always get mistaken for being younger. Always. Yeah, we both do. And so do you, like, yeah. When I was literally, when I was getting like trying on my wedding dress and everything, like people were just like shocked. Like this girl's even married. She looks like a child. Is she, is she, is she really going to prom in a wedding dress? What the yeah. heck? <laughs> but um, I'm actually 29. So why did you Why did you hesitate there? I'm actually. I you forgot, forgot your age. You for forgot your age. I'm 29. <laughs> next year's a big three zero. I'm really excited though. Honestly, I. I have never minded like getting older. Every year is just better and better. I feel like the older you get, just life gets more fun. Yeah. Um, at least for me anyway. So me I've, I've never had a problem with it. Plus I look really young. People always think I'm like 18, 20 years old. I work at a school and people always think I'm one of the students, which kind of sucks sometimes, but you know, and it's a good problem. To answer the question, I'm 32, but still go watch the last video, the RV one. It was yeah, a good one. It is good. <laughs> All right, okay. Answer. What do you guys do for a living? Ooh. Me yeah, first. Yeah, sure. Okay. I do two things. I manage the property where we live. So this building, I manage it, but the, what takes up the majority of my time and the biggest part of my income is our business. I started a business about two years ago. And what we do is we create content for small businesses. We believe in the small business and we want to help them grow in whichever way that we can. So we do video, photo, fun stuff, really cool stuff. So I have uh, some really cool people that I work with and I'm, I love doing what I do. Yeah, and I've shared, uh, I think in a few other vlogs, what I do. Technically, I'm not a teacher. I have been a teacher for a couple years, but my title is actually a guided study specialist, which is kind of confusing, but I work at a small private school, so we don't have like a principal, vice principal, or counselor, or anything like that. So what, what you do, if you had to like, give it like a public school title, what yeah, would it be? Essentially, I'm pretty much like a counselor, like a guided study counselor. So I help students make sure they're doing well academically and just kind of steer them in the right direction. Um, but I do occasionally teach and in the summer I teach. I teach English and history. I really enjoy like everything that I do in regards to it, but I love teaching. Yeah, it's really fun, but that's what we do. Uh, and that's actually like a whole other video because we were doing like completely different things when we first got married. But We should do a video on that. Yeah, we should. Ooh, like maybe. just the life transitions that we've had. I think that would be good. Um, somebody said, I love your channel. Keep it up. <laughs> that's not really a question, thank but you. thank you. <laughs> Uh, where do you guys live? Nice, okay. We live in Southern California. Specifically, we live in Northridge. So if you've ever heard of the Northridge earthquake, that's where we live. <laughs> <laughs> or CSUN, Cal State University Yeah, we Northridge. live next to CSUN. Um, so kind of around that area. Yeah. In the San Fernando Valley, which if you know, like the valley is like Valley Girl, you know, that's we're why next I talk to Calabasas, like he's Kim always, Kardashian. He's always like, why do you sound like that? I'm like, I'm like, I was born and raised in the Valley. Like, this is just Yeah, I wasn't I sound born. Like. I was born and raised in LA by the Dodger Stadium. So I don't have that Valley accent, but she totally does. And personally, I love it. I think it's the cutest thing on her. Oh, I, I wonder who asked this. Somebody asked, who's your favorite sister to you? Uh, yeah, clearly that has to be one of my sisters that asked that. So I have two sisters, even though you didn't ask, I'm still telling you, I have two older sisters. 
and obviously one of them <laughs> thinks that she's my favorite sister. But I love both of them the same. You know, I there ain't get, no favorites here. Yeah, no favorites. Same goes out to you, um, Johnny and Ivana. I love you both the same. He also has two siblings. Yes. I'm sister, the oldest one, though, and she's the youngest one. Yeah. Um, I love this question. And I think this is a whole video in itself. We've planned on doing this, and it'll come out soon. But what inspired you to start a YouTube channel? Yeah, I've actually been really meaning to do a video on that, so I'll keep it short here, but I really wanted to throw myself out there. I'm just, I'm such an introvert. I, you know, I like to live in my own little shell, and I wanted to do something that would challenge myself, but also just, I don't know, pick up a new hobby and learn a new skill. So this was something I had been thinking about for so long, and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna throw myself out there and do it. It's honestly been a lot of fun, so I'm really glad I did. There's so many different reasons like YouTube's awesome, but yeah. that's again for a whole other video. So next question. COVID hobbies. For sure it's YouTube. We restarted YouTube in the middle of this whole pandemic and it just kind of really took off. It's yeah. given us something to do um, when there's not like a lot of options. So for me, it's really been YouTube. Yeah, uh, for me, it's been cooking. I, I think I've been yeah. grilling a lot more and kind of yeah. learning. He never used to like go in the kitchen and cook at all. <laughs> And he's come up with some really like he's mastered acai bowls. He's mastered grilling. Like it, it's. I haven't mastered. I'm getting there. Like, I'm getting I there. But la a, last week, last weekend, I made some tomahawk steaks for Bob. us two and our brother and sister-in-law. My brother and sister-in-law. They were so good. Guys, I should. I'm gonna start a YouTube channel one day and I'm gonna give you guys a recipe. Favorite book and why? I have so many favorite books. Like I love reading. I've read so many books. But I thought long and hard, and this is this was Grab my mine pick. Too. This is his pick. This is my pick. So this book is called Jesus Is, and it's by Judah Smith, and it it's honestly life changing. Um, I just if you want to really get to know Jesus, and not in like this religious type of way, but like really get to know him as you know the Son of God and as a human, like this is such a great book to read. The very first chapter in here talks about how Jesus is a friend of sinners. That alone is just, it's so good yeah, to read it. Good. I'm going to link this down below for you guys because it's definitely worth reading. I remember when it's I bought too, this, too when good. I bought this book, I hadn't even read it. And then we get married and then she picks it up and starts reading it. She's like, this book is so good. And I'm like, yeah. I haven't read it yet. And then I read it, but it's amazing. Yeah, it really is. But... Can I share mine? I'm really excited about this. <laughs> this book is called Crazy Love by Francis Chan. This book really reshaped my whole, my Christianity, it really did. It opened my eyes to God is love and how loving God is. It's an incredible book. And if you want to begin to have a relationship with God who loves unconditionally, this is a great book to kind of get you in that direction. So yeah. it's awesome. And I have to end this question by saying that I, I my favorite author is also Nicholas Sparks. I've been a big fan for a really long time. I know it's like not, you know, totally different, but it's not the most intellectual read not, or the most, you know, know, fulfilling. But it's definitely she loves. But her it's better than watching TV, though. So. That's true. I'm not a reader, but she's gotten me into reading books. Um, are you? Ooh, a good one. Are you guys planning to have children? Yes. Yes. Yeah, it's a, it's definitely a yes. If you've seen my faith board video, you know I talk about it. We have. It's a whole thing, but no, yeah. it's the wrong side. Oh, yeah. okay. It's so hard to remember which <laughs> side, like the thing pops I'm gonna just up. Go like this. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, we definitely want to have kids. Yeah, absolutely. That's one of the things that even when I was younger, I always just the idea of being a father someday just really got me excited. I've been blessed with really great parents and they've made my life very full. Uh, so I, I, you know, I can't wait to be a father. She can't wait to be a mother. So be fun. stay tuned. Um, <laughs> what are key things you and Walter love about each other? Okay. Nice. Do you want to go first? I'll go first. <laughs> I love that Darlene is exactly what I need, and this is what I mean. I am very like scatterbrained. I have a ton of ideas running through my head. I'm a dreamer. I'm a visionary, and what Darlene has helped me to do and really been like my companion in and my partner in is helping me hone in on my goals, hone in on my dreams and really be able to reach them. Honestly, if it weren't for her, I wouldn't have the business I have. If it weren't for her, I wouldn't have a lot of the things I have and I wouldn't be the man that I am today. So she really is the best partner that I could have ever dreamed of. <laughs> 
Yeah, and honestly, it goes both ways. Like, I don't want to be, you know, cliche or anything, but it's true. Like, we really compliment each other. But I think one of my favorite things about Walter is he's just so he he really knows how to live life. And I tend to be kind of OCD, and I, like I'm always thinking and worrying. And he's really taught me to just like not sweat the small stuff and just like enjoy life and enjoy the moments. And so, I mean, that's like one of my favorite things about him. But I think another huge thing is just how creative he is. Like, if you guys don't know Walter, like he is musically creative. Like he's great with video stuff. Like he's just so creative in so many different areas. And he loves to continue researching and learning and growing in those areas. And I just think that's amazing, so. Yeah, thank you, baby. I love you. Okay, what do you and Walter do when you argue? Ooh, let me start this one. One thing that Darlene and I have learned is definitely, look, we're gonna have our differences. We are gonna have, uh, you know, a set of opinions that differs from one another. It, it's gonna happen, you know? One of the things that we've really learned is to, to fight fair, to know what lines to never cross, um, and to always go back to love. Love has to be the foundation of yeah. our marriage and just don't say something that you wouldn't want said to you you know if i don't want to be said something or told something i won't say it or i won't speak it and these are just kind of things that we've learned throughout yeah, our marriage yeah i think you know? there's a lot to this question but i think one of the big things is it's okay to disagree Absolutely. like you're not always going to agree on things and if you keep fighting to try to get each other to agree like you're yeah. never going to get anywhere so we've We've realized that really quickly because we don't always agree on things. So we're just like, you know what? That's what you think, that's what I think. Cool, like, I love you, let's move on. Yeah. You know, what he was saying is so true. It is about like always remembering like, we still love each other. Like, this isn't like, I hate you right now, you know? Like, it's always about love and it's about just figuring out how you're gonna work through this situation. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. It's a team thing, it's a yeah. team effort for sure. Um, good question. Another good question. How do you both sort out your finances monthly with bills? Yeah, it's a, a pretty simple answer if you're looking for like, you know, like literally how we do it. I have a piece of paper. Yes, it's a paper because I'm kind of old school where I write down all of our expenses, how much they are and when they're due. So as the month goes on, I check it off once it's been paid or once, you know, the money's been taken out of our account, I check it off. So I kind of do that every month, literally. I just, it works for me, it's really simple. But um, I think the best way to stay on top of it is creating budgets. So we have like a set limit of like, this is our limit for groceries, for eating out. This is our limit for, you know, gas and all these things. And obviously there's a little bit of wiggle room, but we try to stay within that budget for each criteria yeah. of, of our lives. Like category yeah, of like categories. expenses, yeah. yeah. She's really awesome at like stewarding and, ma and managing that. I'm not the best at that. In fact, I'm the spender, I think, in the family, yeah, right? For sure. Yeah, not, I think, I know I'm the spender. But that's one of her, her skills, is that she's amazing at managing the budget. To sum it up, create a system that works for you, but really be intentional about it. And then write down your categories, write down your expenses, look at your income and then just check them off. That way nothing slips through the cracks and you just get your stuff done that way. Um, and then really, really try to find a way to kind of save your money and create an emergency fund for rainy days and things yeah, like that. We really be, encourage like, that. We definitely have a, I mean, in fact, we, you know how like when you have a job and you direct deposit your money, mm -hmm. we actually have a direct deposit that goes into our savings and into our checkings. Yeah. So we never even look at the money that goes into our savings account because it's not for us to spend right, right. now. Right. Yeah, so yeah. I think that's something that I definitely would love to talk about one of these days in your channel about just like money stuff. You know, I love this we'll topic. We'll see if I like it. Um, favorite thing to do as a couple? There's so many things. Right now it's gotta be YouTube though. Yeah, YouTube's been really fun for us. Yeah. Um, it's just a great way for us to like connect and stuff. Yeah. We like laugh and we just, it's a lot of fun. It's we cool. Even, like, like, I mean, yeah, we, we, from planning to the actual recording. Yeah, we plan together, we film together. We edit together, we edit like together. I'm teaching her how to edit little by little. It's <laughs> a lot of fun. So I think that's one thing, but 
I think another huge thing for us is like eating out and like trying new places. We love to like get in the car and just like go out and try a bunch of different food places. Yeah. It's one of our favorite things to do yeah, for, for sure. sure. For sure. Um, but also just like being in the car. Like we like to be in the car and like drive around and just like hang out in yeah. the car. We, we, we like to eat in our car and just like be in our car. You'll always be able to find like a crusty, stale <laughs> french fry yeah. somewhere down there. <laughs> and, the, and our car is clean, but you'll still, you'll still find like a skittle or a fry in our car. This is a question for you. How did you know he was the one? <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure I answered this question in one of our, our videos that we did. The love story video. Yeah, our love story video. But I did answer it in there and it was kind of like one of those answers that people don't like to hear, which is I just knew. But that really is the answer. It was our first date and we went to a beach and on, you know, when I got home, I remember I went to my room and I love journaling. So I wish I had kept my journal, but I didn't. I threw it away. I don't know why. But I remember writing in my journal, like, this is a guy that I'm going to marry. And I know, again, it sounds crazy, but you know, I had dated other people and it had never been like that type of feeling for me. But after the first date with him, I just like, I knew that I knew. It was like the weirdest feeling, but. That's cool. Bro. Yeah. Okay. All right, and the last question. Um, wow. If you're still here, there's still a giveaway coming. So <laughs> this has been fun though. Okay, last question. This is a really nice, I love this question. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? I love this question because it, is something that I think we should all be thinking about. Yeah, that's true. Babe, where do you see yourself in 10 years? So I will be 39 in 10 years. So definitely with some kids, yeah. right? Maybe two, three, who knows? Something like that. Maybe another dog. So definitely, you know, with our family will be a lot bigger. Yeah. Um, I, th I feel like in 10 years we'll be homeowners. Yeah, I think so, man. And I feel like we will be, you know, just doing YouTube full time. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't actually think with that. With your way. help, it could be done. <laughs> It would be cool, but I'm not sure I would want that that full time. That's a lot. That's you know. Yeah. That's um, crazy. So I don't know. Like career wise, I I I still think I'll be working at a school, but I think that our business will be yeah. a lot bigger. Yeah, I, I, you kind of answered it for me. I think we. I definitely see us with two or three kids, homeowners. Our business will be bigger. Yeah. Um, and just kind of loving and living life, you know? I, I just think that... Yeah, uh, we'll, be, we'll be celebrating our... At that point, it'll be our 14th anniversary, wow. That's a lot. That's that crazy. That'll be fun. We can go so in depth with it, but I think that questions like that are great questions to talk amongst your family, your close ones. Um, just what's your three-year goal? What's your five-year goal? Where do you see yourself in 10 years, 20 years? Um, Darlene and I definitely have so many dreams and, and we have a lot of vision for our lives and for our, our family and our community. And uh, you know, these questions have to be asked so that you get inspired and you can plan around, you know, reaching those goals and stuff. So this has been fun, that was man. A good last question. This is definitely not our last Q&A. Yeah. It was a lot of fun, we loved it. Yeah, we'll definitely be doing another one. Yeah. We can even do like a couples only, like a marriage only Q&A or whatever you guys want. So just comment down below whatever you guys, you know, want to know about us. Yeah. And we will answer it. But cool. All right. Let's get the into moment the good of stuff. truth. <laughs> Drum roll, please. <laughs> First of all, I want to thank All About Tie Dye LA for helping me with this giveaway. So All About Tie Dye LA is a business one of my friends recently started and it's all about tie dye. <laughs> and tie dye is really big right now, so I thought it would be really fun to give away one of her custom made tie dye t shirts. And as you know, tie dye shirts are never the same, they're all custom made. Yeah. She's really creative, cool, cool stuff. So I want to show you guys the one I recently ordered from her. Um, it's these like biker shorts, which are really cute and also really in right now and really comfortable. So I loved the color. I actually found a picture of of like the design I wanted and I sent it to her and she did it exactly that way. So those are the biker shorts and it comes with the matching t-shirt, um, but it's really cute. So you guys are entering the giveaway for a chance to win a t-shirt. You'll get to pick the design, the colors, but it'll be a t-shirt like this yeah. from All About Tie Dye LA. In addition, we are also going to be giving you a $25 Trader Joe's gift card because we Trader love Joe's. Trader Joe's. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you will be getting a customized t-shirt from All About Tie-Dye LA and a $25 Trader Joe's gift card. 
In order to be entered into this giveaway, you have to one, be subscribed to my channel, two, leave a comment down below, Days with Darlene giveaway, and three, make sure that you are following All About Tie Dye LA's Instagram, and I will have that linked down below for you. So there are three steps to be entered into this giveaway. Subscribe to Days with Darlene, comment Days with Darlene giveaway down below, and then make sure you are following All About Tie Dye LA on her Instagram. The winner of this giveaway will be announced on Wednesday, August 26th on my Instagram and on All About Tie Dye LA's Instagram as well. So make sure that if you are entering this giveaway that you are also following my Instagram and of course All About Tie Dye LA to find out if you are the lucky winner. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you go ahead and like this video. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. Anyone's welcome to join. You will get to pick the size of the shirt, the color of the shirt, who you want the Tell shirt all your for. Friends about it. Yeah, so go ahead and enter, and I look forward to announcing the winner, and I'll see you guys in our next video. See Bye. you guys. Bye.